Hey guys, how's it going? It's a height here and we're back with a brand new episode of Factor Y and in the last episode, what did we start making here? We started making a whole bunch of tier 2 assemblers, which we have for the most part maxed out it looks like. Yep, we have maxed them out. What's going on here? We're not getting resources not getting enough iron i might need to increase our smelting why is this not working hello there we go okay that one is now working so i might have to increase our smelting or we can upgrade our furnaces did i make some furnace mark twos i don't even remember did we do that oh zero available Dang it. Okay, well, we got to work on that, but we also need power. And power, I think, is more important right now because if we run out of power, we're in trouble. So, where do I want to set up power? I don't know. Let's get one of these things down first. And let's see what it's going to take to make us some solar panels. Chips, copper, iron. Chips, wire, cable. So, a lot of copper and a small amount of iron. I think that's it. None of that stuff takes stone. So that is good. We're going to need a spot with a whole lot of copper and a interesting amount of coal. Hmm. Mm -mm. Where has a lot of copper? I mean, this area in here has got a lot of copper. That's not bad, actually. It's just maybe that's too much copper. Look at this area. Uh, it's not bad. That's not bad. We could work with this. So let's get some stuff going. I'm going to need to set up miners as per usual. Where the heck are they? And I'm just thinking, is it better to be more efficient with these things so that I don't need as many of them? Or is it better? Do I have minor mark twos? I have a few. Okay, if we're going to use minor mark twos, I think it's better. Whoops, to be a little bit more efficient with them. Why are they glowing red? influence missing oh right of course duh okay let's get some of that going influence we're gonna want copper we're going to want coal i think something like that is gonna work out just nice so we're gonna do something like this for now and i may as well double this up there that should be enough copper to get us started right i think so Okay, so we'll merge those together. If we need more copper, we can come over here and we can get it. But I think for now, that is going to be good. I'm going to need some furnaces. And how do I want to do this? Um, I think we're going to run the resources. How do I want to do this, guys? Do I want to go up? Maybe I do, actually. Let's turn this this way. If I have more copper eventually, we can tie it into that side. But if I don't, I think we want to smelt over this way. Right? That's not bad. Okay, then we're going to need a whole bunch of furnaces. There we go. Oh, I'm also going to need a small amount of iron. So maybe we just... Is this iron? No, it's not. This is iron over here, though. Um, let's get that. Okay, something like that. I think that's going to be fine. Then we're going to need a whole bunch more miners. So let's just copy this into the coal area. Uh oh. It's not going to fit super nice in here, but that's okay. You know what? Let's just copy it. Let's just do it. And I'll put it wherever it will fit. Uh, something like that. And then I can add a little bit extra here. Never mind, I do not have. No more miners. What the heck? Where are we making miner mark twos? Isn't that happening right up in here somewhere? Miner mark one. Miner mark one. Am I not making miner mark two? Oh no, these are miner mark two. What am I missing? Minor Mark 1s. Oh, it's just slow. 
Yeah, these things take 40 seconds per one. Okay, so that's gonna take a while, but for now, that is going to be fine. So, we can leave that alone. We can start bringing coal. I'm gonna need a splitter because we're going to need some to go to the iron factory and some to go to the copper factory. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Oh, that is going to be juicy. Okay, let's get some splitters. And we can set this up really quick. Won't take long. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got copper uh, ingots being made. Let's cross over there. And should I put mergers in? I don't know if I need to. Well, let's just not worry about it. Maybe. Yeah, let's just not worry about it for now. Okay, so let's delete this actually just because And now we're gonna be making a whole bunch of copper ingots and what I should have done is use the furnace burner mark twos perhaps Oh well We can we can do it later since I have no more room if I need to make this faster then we can use the mark twos although These arms aren't going to be fast enough, so I'll probably have to upgrade the arms as well <laughs> Okay, well, whatever we can have to upgrade everything at some point. So what are we gonna what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a whole bunch of wire So let's just figure out all this stuff and see if we can get some sort of system going ultimately over here we want to be making solar panels and chips uh, Sorry, not chips batteries. So that is going to take chips copper copper plate Iron plate. Okay, this one's easy. Chips, copper plate, iron plate. Okay. And let's see what the chips take. I forget it. I think it's like wire and cable. Chips. Oh, it's an ing uh, iron ingot and wire. Okay. This one takes a cable, so let's copy that over. Let's see what a cable takes. Cable takes four wire and then wire takes one copper plate to make two okay so i think the first thing we're going to want to do is just get a whole bunch of factories making us wires and once the system backs up then the extra copper will just go on and continue doing its thing so that is going to be copper wires. Whoops, I missed one. Perfect. That's probably way more than what we're going to need, but that's fine. Then from copper wire, we're going to start making cables. Cables just take copper wire, so that's going to be fine. We're going to come down. I might actually wrap around so that everything gets it, if that makes sense. I might come down and wrap around so that all of these things have a lot a lot of these they can pick from copy that paste it okay so we'll do something like this then the next thing we're gonna need is we got the wire we got the cable we're gonna need chips so chips are going to take whatever is left over for wire uh, how do I want to do this how do I want to do this I think I'm gonna leave more room I'm gonna leave more room and we're gonna come up like this anything left over for plates is gonna come this way okay anything left over for wires can come down here I think there's nothing else that uses cables right cable N no okay so anything any wire that is left is going to come down here and get turned into what is it gonna get turned into and do I need this to roundabout maybe I will I'm gonna get it to roundabout as well there we go we're gonna go like this it's gonna be a little bit of spaghetti but I think it's gonna be good oh boy I just realized I didn't leave any room for my output here we're gonna have to move this over one like so okay something like that and then this guy is going to be our output for our cables 
And we are just gonna go right through here. Nice and simple. Okay, that looks good. And that is gonna make us... Wires, cables, chips is going to be over here. So let's... Plunk these down. Chippies, 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 chippies. There we go. And I think... I also want to move this over one. Yep, that should work out nice. Okay, now the problem with this is we're going to need um, iron input. We're going to need iron input. Come on. And we're also going to need cable output. So it's going to have to be something like this. Now, can we make our furnaces yet, please? Whoops. Come on, come on. How many... When I say furnaces, I actually mean miners. And I think I want this to go the other way. Perfect. Okay. Let's add one more of these guys over here. And I don't really want that to go that way. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? It probably doesn't really matter, but whatever. We got copper here. I mean coal. Man, I do that a lot, don't I? We'll get a merger. And... Oh, I don't like where this input is, really. It's not that good. Okay, maybe it was better the other way. I was right the first time. We'll delete this. I'll just turn it around. And then, where are the furnaces? Let's copy these bad boys down here. However many we need, I don't know the number. Do something like this. Oh, I should have left more room. Ah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll come down. Like this. And then the output is going to go this way okay so we'll do something like that uh why is this not working is that working what is this a merger oh i gotta do it like this don't i there we go okay so now the only thing left to do is we've got chips 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 copper plates iron plates check 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 cable wire chip check 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 okay so what we need to do now is the iron plates are gonna come up these are gonna be all of our crafting ingredients that we're going to need what is this one this is going to be our chips okay so we got chips copper iron wire and that should be all of the things chips chips Copper, wire, wire. Okay. That should be everything, right? One, two, three, four, five. I should have five belts, and I only have four. Oh, there's this one. One of them is missing. Okay, so we're going to need to move this down. Can I move this down? Mm, not exactly. Hang on. There. There we go. Okay, now we've got all of the belts that we're going to need. So let me go ahead and get a whole bunch of these arms put in. And once this is running, I guess we'll see if I can connect it into some sort of an assembly. But we got to get started with the arms first thing. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. So what's the easier one to do here? Um, copper. I mean, this one's pretty easy. Copper. It takes a lot of stuff, though. How long does this take? A minute? Woo! How long does this one take? 40 seconds only. Okay, and they don't take a lot of chips, so... Alright, alright. They both take chips, so chips for sure have to be in the middle. I'm thinking what I could do 
is have two sets of factories and I'm not exactly sure on how this is going to work yet but if I have two sets of factories I can put long inserters down to reach the middle belt I think and I can put long inserters down on this side to reach that middle belt we can put short inserters to reach that belt so that can be one they only share one thing so then whoops so what i'm gonna need to do is put the copper or put the chips where are my chips they're gonna be here so i gotta put the chips here and i gotta put well i guess the rest of it doesn't really matter Let's just say that goes there, this goes there. And we can just work it out from here. So what do I have coming down this belt? Oh, that is the chips. Oops, what am I sending down here? Not the right thing. This belt is chips. So this one is going to go down here. All right, and then we need copper wire which should be coming down this belt eventually and we're gonna want it to go right down here i believe that should work okay so we're gonna do something like that and then we're going to need regular old wire which we have already coming in and that is going to have to cross right here Oh, uh, no, not right there. Dang it. I was so close. That is going to have to cross right here. There we go. Something like this. We got to make sure that is going in. And then we're going to need the outputs as well. So output onto a belt. Okay, that's looking really good. I'm liking this. Okay, we'll cross over here. This can be for iron ingots. And the last thing we need is copper ingots, which is right here. Oh, this is juicy. Except we're running out of power, but this is going to fix all of our problems, hopefully. So we put that there, put that there, take this out and run that like that okay so if i this should be modularized if i copy this whole thing i should be able to paste it and just keep going i hope this is right there's no going back now oh okay well there we have it. And I might want to delete this whole thing at some point because I might want to wrap all of these belts around and have them continue doing their thing. And really, really, I think what I want to do is delete this whole thing and turn it around so it goes that way. Otherwise, it's just going to get in the way. So we'll go, like th we'll go this way. And then I should be able to just throw that into storage. I'm hoping. And we can set each of these things. Do we need a limit? I don't even know if we need a limit on these. Like, what the heck? We just want lots of power, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it with no limit for now. This factory is, is only building us these things. Although, I guess once one of them fills up, it'll start making us more of the other one. Which is maybe good. Yeah, you know what? Let's just set it to like 50 to get us started. We'll see how it works. And I think we're going to want more wires just because we can. So let's copy and paste. There we go. And are we going to want more of these things as well? I mean, we may as well. It's going to take a while for this whole thing to fill up, but once it does. It is going to be the dream. 
Now, I know we, at the end of the last episode, made some Mark II burners, or we started making some Mark II burners. I may as well put some of them down. I think I put a few of them down. I can't tell the difference if I did. Oh yeah, here they are. They're yellow bordered stuff instead of green. So we should be able to put a few of these down and that should help a little bit. Okay, and then how many do I have left? Five? How many of these ones do I have left? 56? Not anymore. Okay, we'll copy this. That'll give us a little bit more juice to keep things running for now. Perfect. And I mean, all that's looking good. Yeah, that's looking good for now. Our, our power situation is a little bit more under control for now. Oh man, I can't wait till this thing starts to back up. How are we doing here? The wires, uh, the cables are starting to back up, which is good. So it means some of the cables, uh, some of the wires, geez, man. Some of the wires are gonna start getting by, which is good. That means we should start making some chips here very soon, right there. Bingo. There we go. We're making chips. These things actually get made ridiculously fast, so I probably don't need this many factories, but it is what it is. How about these? What's the situation? Oh, this belt is just full. Oh my gosh. Maybe I need to make that a Mark III belt. Can I upgrade this? At some point, I think I need to upgrade this belt because it's too slow. Now, I don't have Mark II crossers yet, so that is going to be a bit of a problem. We can't cross over the Mark II belts. I think I actually unlocked Mark II crossers, but I don't know if I started making them or not yet. I don't think I did. Let's see. No. So we have to make those at some point, too. There's so many things I need to make. But for now, at least our belts are going to be a little bit quicker. It should allow us to get a little bit more wire through. And I mean, it is what it is for now. Okay, that is going to have to do. I don't want to upgrade all of these because when you upgrade them, you lose the resources that's on them. So that's not great. But that should allow us to do that. How is this doing? Are these slow guys able to pull out fast enough? It seems like they can. Yeah, I think they can keep up. So that's great. We're getting our first few computer chips coming in. Now these things take a long time. Oh, this one's almost done. Oh, our first solar panel. Here it comes. Our first solar panel. Is that the first one actually? It is. Okay, so we're making solar panels. It's slow, but it's steady. Now it takes a minute and a half, minute and 20. I could upgrade these. Why am I not using the upgraded factories? What the heck am I doing? I can upgrade these to be a little bit faster. There we go. It's gonna override the recipes again, but I think it's fine. Let's turn this into batteries. And there, we'll have some Mark II guys going. So that's going to be a little bit quicker. It takes a minute and 20, but it's a times two speed. So hopefully that means it's only like 40 seconds-ish. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Okay, all of this is looking good. Copper coming through. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this works. Let it run for a bit, see if it'll back up. Okay, and if I've done all of this right, I should be able to copy this. Turn it around. Put it right here. And then all I have to do is connect. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to connect these back in. So this actually has to go all the way over to the far side. I hope I left enough room for all these belts in here. That's got to go in there. This has to go in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I should have enough room, right? This is gonna work. Oh, it's gonna be exactly right. Because then the copper plates are gonna go around and go into here. Oh my gosh. There's a little bit of fluke involved, but that actually worked out perfectly. <laughs> and now we're running low on power again after all that. I mean, it makes sense. But anyway, this is going to start making us a whole pile of solar panels. How many do I have now? Any more? Oh, we got five. Any batteries yet? No batteries yet, but that kind of makes sense because the batteries take chips, uh, not chips, wires. And the wires go through all of this other stuff before they finally make it here. I maybe could put a splitter. You know what? Let's do it. No, we can't do it because then they'll start pushing stuff up there and I don't want it to. Ah, it will and it won't. What if I do this? Something like this will still work, right? I think so. Yeah, that's not bad. It'll send half of it bypass. And yeah, that, that should work out a little bit better. At least we'll be making a few batteries. Now, the next thing I want to do is start setting up a spot to accept all of the power. And I don't really know where I want to do this. It's got to be somewhere that we're not going to really use for anything else. Is it like... Is there North Pole vibes like there is in Dyson Sphere? It doesn't seem like it. How about South Pole? No, that would probably break this game because it's top down. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. So, can I build in the water? No. <laughs> it was worth a try. Okay, so. Where do I want to build? Where do I want to build? I guess it doesn't really matter. We just got to start a spot. So this could be our solar, our solar farm. And what does this look like? I don't know. These things are going to go down. Do they need to be connected to something? How does this work? I don't know. We're going to need a bunch of batteries. I don't know what the ratio is for these things. I'm assuming there's a proper ratio. But for now, this will do. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. That's going to get us started. Ah, okay. And here we go. We've got the energy storage thing down here. So we'll be able to see if this gets full throughout the day or not. Maybe we'll just try to one to one. Let's try one to one and see if, if that's going to work out for us. I don't know if this fluctuates every day sort of thing or how that works. But if this doesn't get full, then obviously we need more solar panels. All right, guys. So we're back down to 0% solar brightness. And we're starting to drop pretty quickly on the old power. Obviously, it didn't get full. But it looks like we're definitely producing enough just with this little bit here. Well, that and our our generators, I think, to maintain a net positive on our power production, at least for now. What I would like to do is eventually have enough solar panels that I could just delete all of all of my furnace burners, but I don't want to do that yet until I at least have enough solar panels to make sure we're going to be able to keep up. And I mean, we got a lot of power. How much does one of these things make? It makes 100 energy. And the solar panels at full power make 250. Which means... Well, actually, 70% I think is, is as full of power as we get. So that's only 175. So one of these things at full juice, if this bar ever gets full, is only good for 1.75 of the furnaces that we have, which is not great. <laughs> so we're going to need a lot of them. But... We're getting there eventually slow and steady i i wish there was a fast forward in this game but there is not so we're just gonna have to let that continue to run but now that our system down here is automated and it's just going to be continuing to make us solar panels forever i think the batteries are gonna fill up here soon we're already up to 16. wait a minute 
No, we're already full. Yeah, we're already full of batteries. We can't hold anymore, which is a good problem to have. So now that that's going to start filling up, it means we're going to need less wires, which means we're going to start sending more ingots through, which means we're going to be able to start making more solar panels faster. And yeah, that's actually terrific. That's what we want to see. Because the more solar panels, the better. I think what I might end up doing is copying like this portion of the factory. Uh, not that portion. This portion of the factory like this. Copying that maybe two more times even. We just need a lot of solar panels, but we'll see. At full speed, these things should be making... What is that? 60 plus 22-ish. So 80... 82 seconds uh, 82 divided by what do we got here two four six seven so 82 divided by seven divided by two factories right now we should be making one solar panel about every six seconds if this thing ever gets full fully juiced up we should yeah so that's not bad that's actually a lot of solar panels okay that's not bad i can live with that eventually this should start to do that for us right now the biggest thing is our copper ingots and you know what the bigger problem is these takes these take 30 copper plates per one and these belts only transport five items i don't know what the rate is but it's not very good so that might become the bottleneck here at some point. But we'll do as many as we can. I might have to upgrade this belt to be a faster one. The problem is none of these crossing belts here can be upgraded. Although that doesn't matter. This is the only one that will be a problem. And if I have to, I can go up and around to avoid that splitter. So that's not bad. And actually, once this, are, once this all gets backed up, I probably don't need this splitter anymore. Yeah, I, in fact, I likely don't need it already, so maybe we can just get rid of it right now. And, oh, what have I done? Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's fine. Okay, yeah, so then this belt here could actually get upgraded to be a tier 2 belt at some point, if, it, if I need to do that. And we're also going to need more coal which is going to be a bit of a problem actually, but for now, I think it's fine. Anyway, this is gonna do it. This is gonna make us all the power that we need for now. It's gonna be slow, but it's gonna be steady. Oh my God, I got 10 more. Oh my God, I got 10 more. All right, bingo, look at that. So we're making power at 7% right now. We are actually going up. So that is good. Oh, that is lovely to see. Um, at some point, that's not going to be the case anymore because I am going to start deleting these things. How many can I delete and have it still be going up? Let's see. What if I just delete all of these? Oh, nope. Now we're going down. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. But at some point, we will no longer have any fuel burners and they can just be a, like a backup power if we really need it. I don't know. I, don't, I guess there's no point in not having them, really, is there? I don't know. I guess I could just put these back. Like, what's the point of getting rid of them? I don't know if there is one. There's no, like, pollution or anything that I know of. I guess the only thing is we just are using up space, and this coal could be used for something else in the future, but... For now, I think it's fine. This entire time, I realized we haven't been researching anything. So we should probably start to look at Mark III Arms. What's this? Electric Furnace. Ooh, Electric Furnace. Ooh, that's good. Electricity instead of fuel. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's get those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And where does this take me? Power? Ooh, extra power production? That takes research tier 4, which we do not have. Okay. Oh my god, guys. We are getting into it. What, are we already half done this tech? We're almost done the research 2 already, that's for sure. Okay, and what is this? Research 4? 
that we could do very quickly. I believe. Alright, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I might actually let this run for a bit. And just get in that whole pile of solar panels so that we don't have to worry about power in the future. And I still don't know what the what the ratios are, but we'll figure it out maybe at some point. For now, I'm just going to keep slapping solar panels down. And we'll see where we end up. But, guys, I hope you are loving the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.